What's going on everybody? Bruno here. And I thought I'd do something a little different this time. I'm usually making different kind of videos, but uh, you know, Game of Thrones season is in full effect. And I'm a huge, huge, huge Game of Thrones fan, as I'm sure a lot of you are. So I decided to make a video kind of pitting some different players against each other from the show, simply because, you know, I've had these discussions with friends and family and just other people that are fans of the show. Um, who is the best warrior? Who's the warrior of warriors? Uh, who is the toughest one out there? And uh, it's it's funny and it's interesting because you get so many different answers depending on who you talk to, you know, people's favorites and, and all that stuff. It's very, very different. So I was curious and I said, hey, I'm going to make this video and I'm going to ask you uh, how it worked out for you. So I, pit, I put these players together. I picked what I thought was 16 of the strongest players uh, from the show and kind of put them against each other. Now, the pairings were all random. I used a random generator off of a website and it kind of pit them against each other to start. And then it all goes from there. The winners from each bracket move on and all the way to the finals. So, um, you know, I want to have some fun with this. Let's have some fun with this, guys. And I want to see how it played out for you guys. So pick the original 16 uh, pairings at first. And uh, you decide out of the two which ones you think would win. And as they go on, uh, keep pairing them up until you have a winner like I did. And I just, I'm very curious to see how it all worked out for you guys. Uh, who you guys feel is the, is the strongest warrior. Uh, who would come out on top. Um, things like that. So uh, let's have some fun with it, guys. This is something I usually don't do, but uh, I had some fun with it. And you know what? Depending on how it goes, maybe I'll do some more with other shows. I'm, I'm a huge fan of, you know, Spartacus, uh, you know, Lord of the Rings, whatever, Game of Thrones. So many different cool shows that I, I love watching. Anything to do with that kind of era, uh, I really like watching. So this is how this one played out. I will leave the original uh, brackets in, in, the comment, in the comments or in the description. So it'll be easier for you guys to kind of... Uh, figure it out and you can go from there and uh yeah like, like i said guys let's have some fun with it i think it's really neat as you'll see you know uh we have the quarterfinals the semifinals and we're going to get down to the the regular finals another thing i want to say is um you know for me it was the different pairings uh you know someone against a certain person might necessarily not beat another person but because the pairing the matchup just how they would i as i felt they would match up against that person maybe they would win that round so as you guys see here, we are now starting the quarterfinals. You see Jamie Lannister and Jon Snow are paired up now. Uh, Sir Beristan and Brianna Tarth are paired up now. So we're in the next stage. So I'm just curious, write down uh, how the first stage went for you guys, the first round, and where they are now for round two. Um, and let's keep playing it out. I think it's a really neat concept. Again, because, you know, you talk to so many different people and, you know, if someone, say, is a big Hound fan, to them, it's like, oh, the Hound would win, the Hound would beat this person or whatever. Um, personally, you know, Grey Worm, I'm a big, I like Grey Worm. Uh, Tormund, Giant's Bane is another character I really, really enjoy. Uh, there's a lot of really cool characters uh, in the show, and that's why I felt like this would be really fun. Now you see we're in the semifinals. Uh, where we're sitting at, it's Jamie Lannister and, and Sir Beristan and Sirio Farrell uh, against the Mountain. Uh, pretty neat matchups, uh, how I felt, how they matched up. Uh, certain advantages for certain characters and disadvantages for others. And again, this could be completely different, say, if they were battling two different people at this stage, you know, just the way that the brackets worked out. Uh, I feel it's a, you know, it was just a game of luck kind of thing. And now we are going to get into the finals. Um, the way of my thinking was, you know, they always say that uh, Ciro Farrell is, is one of the greatest fighters ever, um, ever to be a part of the show. Uh, but we never actually really got to see him fight. We got to see him a fight a little bit with a wooden sword, so it's kind of hard to judge. But, uh, you know, I did give the leg up, as you see here, to Jamie Lannister. Uh, I'm not, you know, I think Jamie Lannister is a pretty cool character. I'm not, you know, a super big fan of Jamie Lannister, but uh, you got to give credit where it's due. And to me, that is my champion. Some of you guys might think that's crazy. Some of you guys might think it's bang on. That's why I'm interested to hear and see how it played out for you guys. Who was in the finals? Maybe for you guys, he lost in round one to uh, Carl Drago. And that's the thing is, is that's the beauty of this is, you know, everybody's opinion is different. And I like that. And that's why I want to see where everybody falls for you guys. Guys, thanks for watching. Again, uh, I may do more of these. I, I really had a lot of fun with it. I like doing stuff like this. And uh, maybe I'll do some more for like maybe the show Spartacus. Or maybe I can match them up against each other. There's Vikings, another show I really like. Um, a lot of cool shows. So 
Thanks guys for watching. Uh, hit that sub button, hit that like button, and let's have some fun. Have a great day. Take it easy. Peace.